Canada continues to pull highly skilled South Africans into its economy. The North American country is among the top three destinations for those South Africans hoping to relocate. As ENCA's Devin Murugan reports from Toronto, those missing home are determined to make it work. The Canadian government approved permanent residency for 1,745 South Africans in 2022, many of them settling down in the greater Toronto area. Get ready to go. And go. We found a familiar face in Oakville, former Seven de Land star Ilna Ninaba. Fifteen months ago, she and her husband Marcus made the big move to Canada with their two children, thanks to his company's branch transfer. Ninaba says while the safety of Canada was a big draw card, she always dreamt of settling in North America. The harsh winters don't bother her. When I go grocery shopping, I don't put on the gloves and no. the messy and the... Uh, you, it's really not. But inside, all the schools are heated, all the shops are heated, all the houses are heated with central heating. And it's really, I, we, if you didn't see the snow, you wouldn't, you really wouldn't have known that it was winter. Actuary Vincent Hayes has been advising expats and immigrants on financial issues since he got here in 2017. He says comparing Canada and South Africa is not straightforward. Most immigrants, their families and their kids come from the old Model C schools or the private schools, which is way at the top, you know. So the schools that we kind of used to in South Africa is academically a lot better than the average school in Canada. So this doesn't mean that the Canadian schools are bad, it's just different. And if, you, if you've been here a few years, you kind of see that it works. Financial services in South Africa is top class. You know, if you look at financial advisors, if you look at um, insurance companies, um, asset managers, banking, you know, I often say to the people at Glacier, for example, at Sunlam, there's no reason for you to stand back. You know, uh, it's top quality. You know, your banking system is, is really good from a technology perspective. Um, in Canada, it's not that technology advanced. Having said that, the level of fraud in Canada is a lot lower. Relocating across the Atlantic to some of these unfenced and snow-decorated neighbourhoods demands some sacrifices. I'm working with a good salary and it is still tough. The, and the only reason you can make it work. It's, the one thing you must not do is try to compare if you had luxuries in South Africa, that you will have the exact same here. You don't have somebody cleaning your house to come in. You need to do that yourself. Everything here, as soon as somebody literally lifts their hands, you are paying a service. The main thing here in Ontario specifically is, yes, rent is rent. Or, or buying a house, your property. It's, that is going to be at least a third of your income. It's going to go to that. It's one day at a time for many families making the big jump. But for Ilna Ninaba and her crew, so far so good, as they warm up to a new country. Devon Murugan, Toronto. <laughs>